Hi, I am Karl Shahbazian, and uh, in this video, I'm going to introduce Glorious, a tool for writing generic, generic templated code and how to use that uh, to uh, write specialized forms of uh, 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 that generic package. Uh, for demonstration purpose, we are going to implement a, a sortable slice. Um, one problem with copy-paste approach is uh, when you find a bug in the original code, it's hard to uh, it's hard to mm, fix it in all other uh, instances, all other places that. Uh, we have copied that uh, code to. Now, using a reuse, we can just uh, employ the Go generic, Go generate tool uh, to uh, just apply those fixes in all places that uh, uh, we need to apply that patch, that fix. Uh, this is uh, this is a slice of uh, some unknown type interfaces, and we are going to implement the sort uh, interface uh, sort dot interface. This is uh, there are uh, three methods here: len and swap and less. Um, len is just the length of the slice and swap is uh, we we just have to swap the values at index i and index j um, which fortunately go has a nice syntax for but we cannot write a generic less code we can we don't know how to compare those uh, unknown types values uh, empty interfaces so we just uh, use panic panic not available as a placeholder uh, now i can use this templated code uh, to uh, specialize it for specific concrete types uh, we just need to get the go reuse you can get it from go pkg2 and the master mm, is now uh, pointing at the version 2, of course. Now, I'm going to uh, to create a, create a, a, an int64 int so sortable slice. Okay? And the package that I'm using as, the, as uh, my generic code is uh, the sortable package that we have just created. Now, what we have got here? Okay, this is uh, not much useful. It's just copy the structure of the package with some prefixes. To make it more meaningful, we are going to prefix those identifiers with in 64. Okay, now it's better. Uh, let's uh, rename our type to in six in sixty four uh, slice. That is more meaningful. We say use in sixty four slice instead of uh, sortable. Nice. Still, this is uh, not a type specific slice we want this type to be of, uh, to be a slice of n64 if we run to go reuse again or go generate uh, it will be overwritten uh, the trick is we have to just say to go reuse to add up our customizations our special uh, specialization of this package when you are uh, importing the structure from the source package, the origin package. This way, uh, go use with uh, just preserve this, 
the customizations that we have made to this package. Uh, as you see, maybe uh, I should add a go font uh, at the end too, but I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do because some people uh, use other tools uh, like go import and the lab and maybe something else I don't know well at this point we have got ourselves a sortable int uh, int slice of course we have to overwrite the less function too uh, like saying uh, return if the uh, item at the index i is uh, smaller than other item and index j and to prevent the go reuse to override this change too we have to explicitly say to over go reuse to preserve our changes nice <coughs> the, the same way we can have a uh, sortable slice of for example the unsigned integer unsigned integer 64 and we name it unsigned integer slice uh, and uh, we we got ourselves a uh, unsigned integer slice of course we have to specialize this one too this is u in 64 and from the previous package I'm just going to copy this okay we have overridden the uh, less function okay if we run go we use again uh, no we run go generate those files will get uh, regenerated from the from our template package and uh, those are rally implementations of uh, sortable slice uh, if I introduce an instance of in 64 slice and pass it to the sort function from sort package we see uh, it it will it's it just works what well, uh, that was a nice example but what about a more complicated example let's write a uh, generic uh, <coughs> generic linked list fortunately we already have a uh, an implementation of a linked list uh, inside the standard uh, library let's just steal that okay we are going to add a package and name that linked list and uh, our linked list that go would be okay and paste the code here of course we are going to let the copyright just stay where it should be nice we now have a template linked list package and we are going to have specialized version versions of this linked lists linked lists of integers of strings or of any user defined struct this is uh, uh, the point that we will uh, learn a new thing something that is not parameterized cannot be generalized so uh, as you see there are places that interface is used in this package empty interface we are going to first convert those interfaces to a type alias why because this way we can uh, specialize that uh, type alias now this type alias acts as a parameter 
to this package. Uh, how can we use this package, specialize this package uh, for certain types? We will going to uh, use the go use tool again, and uh, <coughs> we will put the output inside. For example, int ll go. This is uh, int linked list, and prefix all the all its identifiers with int. And the package is sample pkg and linked list. Okay, what we got here? Oh, this one. Okay, nice. We got a, a specialized version of that linked list. Uh, everything renamed as uh, we like, except that uh, we need to, we want this type to be integer instead of empty interface. Uh, we use the same flag uh, for uh, renaming this uh, parameter to, I always say, int val, uh, uh, replace val, rename val, or replace val with int val, and also preserve our customizations. As you see, this is a linked list of uh, integers. Well, uh, we can check that if uh, uh, if that's what we int new returns a linked list of uh, integers and I all that push front 10, 11, and 12. Okay, what we got here? Uh, we start with IRL ill. What a bad name. Whatever. Front, and while our element is not nil, just move to the next uh, element. Right, enter the print line of a dot value. Right, go ahead and also execute. Nice, nice. The same way we can have a linked list of strings or of a user defined. Uh, structure it doesn't matter and str var okay we got ourselves a, a linked list of strings uh, also we are going we have to uh, specialize this for uh, strings if I run go generate again we have a strongly typed linked list specialized for strings, strongly typed a linked list st specialized for integers, and uh, we got ourselves two uh, strongly typed sortable slices. Uh, there are many other scenarios, but I think for a short introduction, this would be enough. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Any feedback is more than welcome. Thank you.